My birthday is coming up in a few days, and I am still wondering where I would like to go, or what to do. There's Chuck E. Cheese's, main event, Peter Piper Pizza, Dave and Buster's. Really, there are so many places to choose from. Hey Brian, are you deciding on where you would like to go for your birthday if you have a place in mind? Hey mom, you know what I am thinking? I am thinking, let's celebrate my birthday at Dave and Buster's. Because I really liked going to that place. And it's been like a couple years since the last time we went there. I actually like that idea. Dave and Buster's it is, and then we can have birthday cake here at the house after we have dinner and games at Dave and Buster's, if you'd like. That sounds like a really good idea. I think we should do just that. Have dinner at Dave and Buster's, play games over there, and then we come back home for birthday cake. Okay then. I am going to discuss this with your dad in a few minutes. Another thing, after we have birthday cake. We should all watch episodes of Shining Time Station. Alright, family. Before we dig into these delicious hamburgers here at Dave & Buster's, I wanted to take this time to wish Brian a very happy birthday, especially now that you're 13 years old. Well, well, if it isn't the motor car crybaby celebrating Brian's birthday at a place he is too old to go to. Tom, Joey, and Joseph, what are you three doing here at Dave and Buster's? We're here celebrating my birthday, and this is where I wanted to celebrate my birthday. I know you wanted to come here because I know your family is very childish, especially your dad. This must be really embarrassing. Hey, don't you talk about my family like that. We are not childish, and Dave and Buster's is for all ages, not just for young children. Now, if you won't mind, we're celebrating my son's birthday, and we don't want you to ruin the moment for us. No, we're not going to leave you alone, until you decide to go to a place that is not for little kids. And Dave and Buster's is for little kids, therefore, you're too old to be here. Why not go somewhere else, like Denny's, or Applebee's? Besides, aren't you all supposed to be in a NASCAR event? All of you sound like motor cars when you scream on the floor like babies. Stop it. Just stop it. All three of you. What you just said about my husband was very insulting. He does not throw tantrums anymore, and he has improved his behavior in the last several months. If you all don't leave, then we're going to have to call your parents. And Joseph, I still have your parents' numbers saved in my phone from when I was babysitting you. Don't call my parents, 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 don't call my parents. Please, I promise to behave myself. Joseph, Tom, and Joey, we will be calling your parents if you don't leave our family alone and stop making fun of Dave. This is really embarrassing, especially since it's Brian's birthday. Besides, Joseph, your temper tantrums are especially embarrassing to me. And it's bringing back memories of how I used to behave. Fine, but remember why all of you throw childish tantrums. It's because you like baby shows like Shining Time Station, Coco Melon. Barney the Dinosaur, Sesame Street, Wonder Pets, Paw Patrol, and much more. All of you are too old to be watching those shows. Why not watch something else like Arthur, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Cyber Chase, The Magic School Bus, or SpongeBob SquarePants? Hey, my dad likes Shining Time Station. And as a matter of fact, whenever we go skiing, we play the characters from that show. And my dad shows us episodes of that show every now and then. So why don't you troublemakers just leave us alone, so that we can continue celebrating my brother's birthday. We don't want to be bothered anymore. Excuse me, but what is all of this commotion about? I could see part of what was happening through the surveillance footage. Manager, thank goodness you were here. These three kids, two of them about age 12 or 13 and the other age 10 or 11 has been bothering my family, especially my son, since today is his birthday. 
We told them numerous times to leave us alone, but they refused to, and instead they continued to try to make fun of me and my family. Boys, I am going to have to ask you to leave the restaurant because of your behavior. Absolutely not. We're not leaving because this is our restaurant, and we can do whatever we want. You should leave, or better, this this childish family to leave and go somewhere else because they are too old for Dave and Buster's. Hey, I am the manager, and I need you three to leave the restaurant. You're bothering this family, and they told you many times to leave them alone. But you refuse to. So that's why I have to get involved. Now, I suggest you leave the restaurant right now. Fine, you win. But before you know it, you're going to get a big letter from my lawyer very soon. I apologize for what just happened. Anyways, enjoy your meal. I'm going to have to call Joseph's parents, because not only he was bothering us, he has also been hanging out with two other troublemakers. Anyways, let's dig into these delicious cheeseburgers. And happy birthday, Brian. Oh 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 Tom. We cannot believe that you bothered Brian and his family while he was celebrating his birthday at Dave and Buster's. You are even more grounded 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 grounded, not only for the rest of the school year, but also for the entire summer. Now go upstairs to your room, now. Wow. Joey, we cannot believe that you, Tom, and Joseph went to Dave and Buster's and bothered Brian and his family. That does it. You are so grounded 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 for the entire summer. No hanging out with Tom, or Joseph. Or any troublemakers, go upstairs to your room now. Oh 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 Joseph, Christopher, Reed. We cannot believe that you and your troublemaker friends bothered Brian and his family while he was celebrating his birthday. You are grounded for the entire summer, no watching baby shows. No TV, no hanging out with Tom and Joey because they are big troublemakers. Now go to your room and think about what you did. Wow. <laughs> Joseph Christopher Reed. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs>